Good morning, my Tauruses. You are up. You are up. Brand new day, brand new week, brand new messages. What does Taurus have for me today? What's your collective energy? This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this doesn't resonate, check your other signs. Better yet, always go by the titles. Always go by the titles. So if you're a Taurus and you see a Scorpio reading and be like, hey, that sounds like that could be me. Well, listen, because it's probably your message. I just, I'm not one that feels that energy can be contained in a single zodiac in a single day. Energy is timeless. It's limitless. And if, I mean, really, you can, you can adopt anything you want. You can just, just go with it. Just go with the titles. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus. What does Taurus, what's on Taurus's mind? What's the collective energy for Taurus? What is it? What is it? Ooh, four of cups. This is just bored. I feel, are you, are you bored with what you're doing? Are you feeling bored with your life? What's challenging this four of cups? Taurus, what's challenging this? That's a card of apathy. What's, what's challenging the four of cups? Oh my gosh, Taurus. Taurus is like, well, let me tell you, take a seat and I will throw, oh my God. And the cards keep going. They keep going. Okay. Ooh, what do we have here? The emperor. Now I got to reshuffle Taurus. What is going on? It's all the, and it's so many mar major arcana that flew out too. Okay. No, I just grabbed them and I didn't see if they were upright, reversed. And what just happened to my deck? Look at that. Six of pentacles reversed. That's your card was upside down though maybe the four of cups reverse six of pentacles reverse it's just this lack of is it ever going to go my way that's the energy i'm kind of feeling or it's just feeling a bit bored feeling a bit boxed in feeling you know it's maybe you would need a little adventure in your life something new what's this for what's challenging the four of cups for taurus What's challenging the four of cups for Taurus? I guess to two of cups reverse because it literally flew out. I'll take it because it was one card. To me, if this is just you, Taurus, because I feel like a lot of this, now this could be both. Okay, what I'm about to say. Four of cups reverse, two of cups reverse is disconnected from your higher self and being bored with what you're doing. Why are you bored? Because you're disconnected from your higher self. Why are you disconnected from your higher self? Because you're bored. You're not doing what you need to be doing. You see, you see, is it the chicken or the egg? They're both, feed, this, this energy is feeding each other. Now, for some of you, it could be a relationship because we have cups, right? Two of cups, four cups, cups, both cancer. Some of you can be dealing with a water sign. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. But two of cups could be just a lot of fighting, a lot of discon you Maybe you don't feel connected to your partner anymore, to this, this relationship. And you're just feeling bored with it. Another, a third storyline is some of you feel rejected and there could be a love that you want that's just not happening. You can't get it to here, right? And you're feeling like you're feeling rejected and this is the only person you want and they're not picking you. And you might have other offers at this time, but you're not even looking at them. You're just thinking about what is lost. Maybe you feel it's lost at this time. What's the reason for the reading, Taurus? Why are we all here today, kids? Why are we all here today? Why is it? Why are we all here today? The hangman reverse. It's enlightenment, it's fresh perspective. I feel like what is going on here? Well, we'll clarify more. Maybe I can fine tune it down to one energy. Right now I have like three storylines going. You know, some of you feel rejected and you can't get a relationship you really desire off the ground. Um, and just nothing you don't want anything else for others you are in a relationship and you're just kind of bored with it it's not maybe there is a lot of fighting i'm not even feeling fighting you just are feeling disconnected from your partner and maybe you're kind of planning on leaving it and for others if this is with no relationship and this is only about taurus i feel like you are not connected to what you need to be doing you're maybe in a dead-end job you're not reaching for that brass ring. You're not, you, maybe you were a person that used to really go for your goals and you got used to, maybe life got, I wouldn't say easy because life's not easy for anyone, but you know where things get more, so repetitive that you don't have to put a lot of, um, you don't have to put a lot of your energy in. And that does it, when you're not utilizing your full function in your soul, it does create a bit of boredom. 
Either way, this is Hangman. Is he reversed? No, he's Hangman. This is getting fresh perspective. I feel like some of you probably need to take a vacation. Maybe you need to get out of these surroundings and stop thinking. This feels, either way, this feels like a negative, horrible loop cycle of emotional mess. You know, where you just keep thinking of like what's going wrong. What is in the past for Taurus? What's in the past? What's in the past? Seven of Cups. Confusion, overwhelm. I feel overwhelmed. It's funny, me again, you know, he's looking at that one cup. I feel like it's out of his grasp. Even though there's seven cups here, there's other options. There's one option he really, really wants. And this, until he gets that, maybe he'll finally get off that tree and finally smile. And he just can't get that cup. I mean, you know, it's just like kind of out of his grasp. What's on your mind right now? A lot of cups here. Wow. What's on your mind, Taurus? What is on Taurus's mind? Justice, fairness, equal give and take. Equal give and take. What's, it could be about marriage. If this was marriage, it, it could be, you know, I I don't know, we'll clarify. There, I have so many stories, I don't wanna confuse you guys. Okay, what is in the near future? What's in the near future? Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy, unbalance. And that usually happens when you're not, I feel like you're not, you're get, you're thinking too much about this. I feel like this is, if this is a relationship, you're focused on what is not working. You're focused on them. Your focus, your focus is so much somewhere else that it's not enough in you, not enough in your dreams, not enough in your soul. Temperance reverse. And then you kind of get dehydrated, you're unbalanced, you're unhappy. And it's funny because on your mind is fairness and over here is lack of fairness that's causing instability and unbalance. What is, or how do you see yourself, Taurus? How do the Taurians see themselves? How does Taurus see themselves? Lovers reversed, disconnected. Two of Cups and Lovers reversed, both are cards of disconnected. Um, yeah, I just, this is just, if some of you leave in a relationship or contemplating leaving a relationship, which is why justice is here, could be thinking about, you know, justice definitely could be talking on your mind about, it, it's, it, it is fairness. And remember, I saw the Six of Pentacles reversed, which is the minor arcana card of justice. I feel like you, whatever this is, you have given a lot more than you've gotten back. And it has created a lot of lack of balance and a lot of confusion. And if this is a relationship, maybe this is the relationship you wanted, but for some reason, this other person just can't give back to you. They're not given to you the way that you need to give to you. And it has you feeling stuck in a hangman position. You want to move forward with this person or move forward at all. And you just don't know what to do, which is bad and the seven of cups in the past. And because you don't know what to do, it creates this unbalance in the near future. And how you see yourself is disconnecting from it. Look at this major arcana. That's crazy. We have three. Is it three? It feels like more. One, two, three. Two of cups kind of always feels like it to me. No, it's, it's four major arcana. I can't count. Sorry. Okay, what's the energy coming in to influence us? What's the energy coming in to influence us for Taurus? Three of cups reverse. I think this is going to be a breakup, guys. This is a breakup rating. Be and it could be what's coming in to influence this. I got to get a drink. I'm sorry. And he, I have to say, I hate when tarot readers say, I have to get a drink and make a big thing. And yet I'm a hypocrite and I just did it. Okay. Anyway, three of cups reverse. It could be what's coming in a third party. Maybe you get knowledge of this third party, right? Of Or a th maybe there is somebody else in this situation that you finally get knowledge of. Or maybe you already knew and, and whoever you're dealing with acts like they're confused. They act like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I need to pick you. I don't know if we'll ever get married. Maybe you want to get married to this person and this person has you stuck. Three of Cups reverse is it's just not coming together. You know, it's just not coming together. There's, it's just not, not, no happiness. How you see yourself is disconnecting from this. Excuse me, guys. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have death. Re Ooh, wow. Some, 
I'm telling you, for some of you, th this is a relationship you want. This is the only one you want. They're not stepping up. They're not offering that ring. They're not offering to take it to the next level. What you want, you want that. This is the Hierophant, right? You want the archetype of a relationship. You want to get to that highest level, which is probably marriage is my guess, you know? Death reverse, you don't wanna let it go until you get this, you're holding out, but the Ace of Wands reverse. I feel like this person is just not on the same page as you for whatever reason. What is in your emotions, Taurus? What's in your emotions? What's in your emotions? The Eight of Swords reverse, I like that, I like that. I feel like it's in your emotions. It implies that you have been an eight of swords upright. You have been stressed over this. But I feel like I feel like I'm reading for a Taurus that has hung in there for a very long time. You've been confused. You've been stuck. You've been, you know, wanting this person. Maybe you kept trying to make it work and make it work and make it work. And they're just, they just don't put a lot of effort in. But you're letting this go. I feel like you're going to let this go. Three cups, lovers reverse, three of cups reverse, eight of swords reverse. When you do, you're going to mentally, you're going to finally feel better. Eight of swords reverse is just no longer being stuck in your head. I feel like it's just making a decision. What's the outcome in this reading? What's the outcome for Taurus in this reading? The three of swords. Oh, that is the most painful card in the deck. Ten of swords is nice because you've been in it and you're ready to let it go. Three of swords is, oof. We have two threes, some of you, for some of you, you are the third party and you're waiting for them to leave their spouse. I just want to put that out there. For some of you, you are going to, you're trying to get a relationship. Um, you're trying to get a relationship and you don't know why you can't get this relationship. And maybe you find out they've had somebody else. Maybe you find out they're married and you didn't even know they're married. Maybe if you were in a relationship with them, you could have been living with them and then you find out they've had somebody else, Three of Swords. Either way, Three of Swords is a lot of pain. I haven't had one of these readings in a very long time. That is a lot of pain. I am really, really sorry for whoever this is for because it is just a lot of pain. I feel like clarifying with this. Okay, let's go with that. What is this for Taurus? Four of Cups and the Two of Cups reverse for Taurus. What is this four cups and two of cups reverse? What is this four cups and two of cups reversed? What is that? Oh my gosh, these cards. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Sorry, guys. It's, I, ooh. Oh my gosh, guys. Look what fell out the four cups and I is this the Sun I put it back in but the Sun card too upright I feel like if this is a relationship that you're trying to get it you feel that this would make you really really happy I want to emphasize on you feel you feel this might be your soulmate you feel like this might be the one forever and ever and ever now, the funny thing with this is a lot of times we want what we can't have, and then we put a lot of emphasis on this, what we're not having. And sometimes it could be just about maybe it might be one of those things that if you had it, you might realize you really don't need it or want it. And there's just something more better for you, more designed for you. I mean, look at that. We have the King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Getting clear... I, I, I don't even know what to say about that. The King of Swords, I could be you. It could be somebody else coming in. Because as soon as I said that, I looked. Sometimes we want a relationship. It's kind of like, I know I'm jumping around. Please forgive me. Please stay with me. I think I need some coffee before I do the next reading. Okay. Sometimes we want a relationship that's not good for us. And we get, we get caught up in trying to get something that really isn't meant for us, that we're now in it for the chase rather than in it for like really, really looking at the person for who they are. If you just met this person and you put no time into them and you really saw them, I think you would see, I, I think you would really see the... How do you say that? You would really see the downfall here. You would really see that they're probably really not good for you, that there probably is a better fit for you out there. But you're you're caught up into feeling rejected 
that you're putting out a price tag on them that they don't deserve. I, I want to say that for some of you out there. I'm not saying this is all of you, but I feel like for one or two, uh, two, one or two of you out there, you're putting a price tag on someone who doesn't deserve that value, who doesn't deserve you. And this is a person I'm feeling that kind of plays around behind people's back. I'm feeling that. Let's tell me, uh, let's give me another one on the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles reverse, feeling stuck because this person's not giving to this Taurus. And the more they don't give to this, it's, you're like, you are hooked in there. You know, you're really hooked in there. And I don't even feel like it's about them anymore. And if you're honest with yourself, it's you would realize it's not about them. I don't even think you really want them. It's just like being in the fight to be in the fight. What is the hangman? The reason for the reading. What's the hangman for Taurus? What's the hangman? Three of Pentacles. Now we have three threes out here. What are we missing? Three of Wands. That's what we're missing. That's making a decision, right? Turning your back. I hope that does come out. Three of Pentacles and the Hangman. Realizing. I think this is contemplating. You know, maybe the Hangman is going and getting a new perspective. And what's funny is on the Three of Pentacles, it doesn't look like they're, I, I kind of feel like this is like an online thing. Like they're all looking at something. They're all looking. I wonder if, I don't know if this is a secret relationship or if this isn't so secret. Because I want to say, I wonder if your friends, have your friends been giving you advice on this? And maybe your friends see the situation for what it is and you're having a hard time seeing it. That maybe this person's dealing with other people. I, I, I haven't, I'm telling you, I've not had a reading like this in a long time. This is clearly some third party bullshit. What's the seven of cups in the past? What's the seven of cups in the past for Taurus? What is that? Eight of pentacles reverse. You're confused why it's not working. How much clearer could that get? You are confused. There's one cup you want and you don't feel like you can get it and they're not offering it and you, you are you're like what else can i do what else can i do to get this together but on your mind is justice on your mind is maybe it could possibly be because the higher font was was it here you know it was at the bottom of the deck oh wow remember i said about the three of wands on this other deck it drew my attention it, it was sliding three of wands reversed i do feel like you guys are going to turn your back to this but okay let's keep going Justice reverse or justice upright is on your mind. You want fairness. You want equal give and take. I feel like, Taurus, you have given so much to this and gotten nothing back. Very little. I wouldn't say nothing because if you got nothing, I wouldn't think you've held in as long as you have. Um, but you're getting very little back because this person's too busy giving to everything else. What's this justice card on your mind? Judgment. I always think of the justice and judgment very similar. Justice is reflecting on it's the scales, weighing it to see what's fair, what's not. When you realize un how unfair it is, well, then that's judgment. That's letting this go so something new can take its place, something better, something that's made for you. These people are lifeless. I feel like this situation has taken your life source, has taken your happiness, has taken anything good, and you're just hanging in there. It, it's... And you know, they have all the power here and they know they have all the power. I feel like I just want to say that this story, I feel like is mostly you and your reflection. I don't really see them here. I'll be honest. I don't even see them here. I don't think they give this a whole lot of time. I don't think they give other people. They use people for their own entertainment. The, if this person's married, they probably don't even give their spouse themselves. Their spouse probably doesn't even know who they are, you know? This is a very soulless person you're dealing with. What is this judgment and justice? And the seven of cups reverse. Yeah, you got clarity on this. You, you, you're you weighing your scales. You're weighing how much time you put into it. I feel like you're going to let this chapter go. And you know what? I wouldn't say write a new chapter. I think you're going to close this book and just start a whole new book. That I mean, this has been such a major life lesson. What's the temperance reverse in the near future for Taurus? What's the temperance reverse in the near future? And two of wands, because you're waiting. I feel like this is waiting. The longer you wait, the more imbalanced you are emotionally and energetically. You're waiting for someone to reach out to you with the world and offer you the world, offer you the ring, offer you the relationship. Waiting and waiting. Hangman is waiting. 
Knight of Pentacles reverse is feeling stuck. This is somebody who's been feeling stuck for some time. Lovers reverse, this card just flew out, I'm taking it. Lovers reverse is the page of swords. I feel like you see something. You're gonna get clarity because there's something you're gonna uncover. Page of swords is very sharp. He's at the researcher of the deck and he probably and it's also your online card and i felt online i don't know if i said that but i felt online with the three of pentacles i feel like you might see something online that they were dealing with other people that they're talking to other people and that is the final nail in the coffin in this in this situation ship i want to say what's the three of cups reverse coming in to influence this what's the three of cups reversed and the four of wands yes that some of them have been married What is that? And even if you knew they were married and you thought, okay, they're dealing with me. Oh my gosh. He never, he doesn't pop out often. And he just did to us, the devil. You are dealing with the devil. You are dealing with somebody who is so out for their own interest. This is a person who doesn't give a whole lot of thought, thought for their actions. It's kind of like a, a, a kid in a candy store. Like, I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. They don't really want any of it. They just want to taste and throw it away. And the next, this is a person that can't be satisfied. This is a person who is so, they're addicted. They're, they have a lot of addictions. I was going to say they're addicted to being addicted. Some of them think it's really cool to have a dick, you know, I don't even know where that came from. That is for somebody, but they have a lot of addictions possibly to, well, whatever you can have addictions to. I feel like this person is so toxic and maybe that's what you uncover. And it is such a godsend. Yes, it's going to cause you a lot of pain with the three of swords, but it long-term Taurus, this person is not for you. This person will only destroy you. It will destroy your happiness. I think it has been destroying your happiness with the four of cups. I think you have felt stuck. I think you want to move forward. This is not a person you want to move forward with. Even if they were married and they decided tomorrow to say, I'm going to divorce and I want you, you have to know that other people are always going to be there and you're always going to worry. You, you will always worry about it. But we have so many threes on this board. It's, it's, it's very hard to ignore. And this person with the devil and the four of wands, they will make, the, your home life will never be peaceful with this person. You're always going to worry who they're with. They're probably, I'm feeling some of them might have gambling. That is a very odd thing to throw out there. Could have gambling and alcohol addictions. It's, this is just not something you want in your energy or your home. What's the eight of swords reverse in your emotions? What's the eight of swords reverse in your emotions? The King of Swords, you are getting clear. The more you get clear on this and the more, when you get clear and you start moving forward, you're no longer confused. Eight of Swords reverse is not allowing the truth in. You, your instincts, I wouldn't be surprised if the High Priestess should come out. Your instincts, I feel like you've had the red flags over this. You've had your instincts telling you that something is off, that there's probably somebody else and you've been talking yourself out of the, you're not listening to your higher self. King of Swords comes in and says, look, you got the truth, Page of Swords, you uncovered it. Now what do you do with it? It's time to take that sword, get some strong boundaries and cut this shit out of your life. Cut those chains, right? You need to cut the chains. This is most likely a soulmate. This is definitely probably a soulmate. And guys, soulmates come in all flavors and packages. And we have thousands of of soulmates that come into our life throughout the course of one's life. Some briefly, some for a long time. Some, you know, usually soulmates want to teach us a lesson and usually those lessons are painful. So yes, this probably is a soulmate. This is probably why you feel very, very connected and it's a hard thing to break. But this was to teach you, this was, this person was here to teach you a lesson. You were a test. Whenever you, whenever somebody teaches you a lesson, you have to know you were also a test for them. I believe in reincarnation. I believe you are a test and they were tested with something really good that came into their life. And what do you do with it? They're, they're going to be on the other side of that coin. If they failed this test, well, that's what's going to happen to them. That's just going to be one more thing in the next life that's going to happen to them. So you, you got the lesson, but you were also their test. I think you were really good to this person. I think you were really good for this person. This person would never see it. The devil will never see it. They were all about gimme, gimme, gimme. They can't, they just can't see. They can't beyond their own needs. There's, this is not a person who will ever see your needs or be there for you. That is why you need to take this sword and cut this bullshit out of your life. 
Is it painful? Yes, it is painful. Those three of swords, I was reflecting over the weekend, really looking at this card. Sometimes the three of swords isn't just about pain. This is about long-term. You will take this with you, Taurus. You will always have this in your heart. You, you will heal from this one day. You'll be in love again. You will move on from this, but this will always be a reminder. It'll always be in your heart because I do feel like it's a soulmate. And sometimes those swords come from family. Sometimes those swords come from a broken heart. And when a scar, when when a heart breaks, then a scar, you know, a scar uh, forms, and a scar is a really tough tissue. I think you're going to get tough from this. I think you're going to put some strong boundaries so this bullshit can't come back into your life. But you'll never forget it. That's why the outcome is the three of swords. I'll I'll clarify, but that's why it's here. You'll never forget this or this person and what they did to you. But use it for, to your advantage. Use this pain to your advantage and grow from it. Don't, don't look at it and say, what was wrong with me? Because there was nothing wrong with you. There's everything wrong with this person. This, this is a soulless creature. I, I feel like if this is reincarnation, they are a brand new soul. And brand new souls tend to get things easier. Have you ever wondered why somebody could be born in the worst of conditions and somebody can be born into the best? And you're why? I feel like when it's, when, some people, when they have everything, I feel like those are new souls. And I feel like God just gives them everything as a baseline, kind of like a lie detector where they'd ask you your name, ask you your age, things you can't screw up. You, you know, so new souls get this, they get everything. And if you have everything, well, you should have a really good life. Well, some people will F that shit up. You know, they will still F that up. That's their baseline. How much they screw up is how much bad karma they, they get is the lessons they need to learn. That's how we, this is just my own personal opinion. That is how we learn how the lessons that we pick in this lifetime, we all had this baseline at one point, depending on how bad we screwed up is all those lessons that had to be learned. You have to be on the other side of the coin. If this person is a brand new soul and they were born with never having a weight problem and always looked down on people with weight problems, well, guess what? Next life, they got that. If they were a racist, guess what? They got, they're, they, they're gonna be that race. This is their baseline. That's what I'm feeling with this person. This is a very immature, childlike energy. Oh my God, I got dizzy all of a sudden. This person got everything handed to them and they're, they screw it up. They just screw it up and they don't realize you are their, you are their test. They were your lesson. This is your karma to burn off. Two of Pentacles. And I'm, I, I don't mean to sound this harshly, but this is how I look at it in my own life. When things like this happened, there was a chance in your past life that you were some, you were like this to somebody else. And it could have been past life, the previous or two lives ago. It depends on when we need to learn those lessons. And maybe this was your lesson because somebody else was your test, you know? And that's how you have to look at it, accept it, say, I got it, never doing this again. And I'm gonna treat people moving on. I'm gonna have strong boundaries, but always treat people with respect. Never let, never take on somebody else's karma and don't go low. I don't even know what that was, guys. It was over here. Never go low because somebody else is already there, especially when you're high. Never lower your standards to be with somebody. You lowered your standards to be with somebody. Even if they have more than you in this life, perceived more, this is, they were soulless. But anyway, three of swords, two of pentacles. You're gonna heal from this. Taurus, you are gonna heal from this. You will never forget this though. You will never forget this person, but that's okay. You'll heal from this. You'll get your balance back and the moon. And it's gonna, there might be a lot of, you're gonna, it might be a dark night of the soul going through this, but you're there, you're going to have so much learning about yourself, self-reflection, who you were. I feel like there's going to be so much growth for Taurus in this, from the situation. There's a lot of major arcana here, a lot of major, which means this was a very destined event. I feel like this, oh my gosh, but you're, look at this star card slipped out. Aquarius, you will, you're going to heal from this. I feel like you're going to take some time and then when when you decide to re-emerge, I feel like the hermit reverse, when you re-emerge and, excuse me, and join, like when you come out and start feeling that happiness again, it's like wish fulfillment. I feel like the next relationship after this, I, I know I'm jumping around and have a hard time. There's the three of wands again. That's turning your back on the past, 
looking for the future and your feet are in the here and now. I feel like you're gonna turn your back on this. The Aquarius is going for, look at the moon and the star. You, right after the darkness is the light, the hope, you know? When you feel like it can't get worse, it'll get better. I mean, to hold on to that. You can't stay here forever. You can't, this was just a huge, huge life event to teach you something about yourself teach you about your own strengths, teach you about what you really want by showing you what you really don't need in your life. And the Knight of Swords. I love that. I love that. You'll get clarity. You'll move forward. You'll be okay, Taurus. Whoever in Three of Swords again in the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person was such a cheater. Queen of Wands reverse Three of Swords. You will heal from this. You will definitely heal from this. It's, it's going to take some time, but you're going to be better for it. You're going to be stronger for it. It was a huge life lesson. But remember, if anything, take that. You, this was your lesson and you were their test. And they failed it. They failed it. Okay, Taurus, that is what I have for you this week. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you next week, guys. Take care.